All right, I apologize for the camera that I'm using is the Shield Tablets camera because my camera ran out of juice and it's charging right now, so there will be a little shakiness here and bad quality. But uh, I decided to try out a, well, this is kind of like a Google Cardboard thing um, with my Android phone to try to get some kind of virtual reality thing, kind of like the Oculus Rift, except, you know, it's not going to cost as much as the Oculus Rift, which I wouldn't purchase just because of its price and its function. But when I was a kid, I really enjoyed the idea of virtual reality. Uh, I was born in 81, so when I was growing up and they talked about virtual reality, I was like, wow, that's so awesome, and I wanted to try it out, and I figured, what the hell, if I could try it out fairly cheap. It's not as interesting to me now as it was back when I was a kid, but um, yeah. So what was I going to say? Um, yeah, so I bought this thing so that I could put my... Um, phone in it, not expecting all that much because I figured it wasn't going to be that good. I tried a few of the apps on, on the Play Store. They're actually really good. Um, there were a few that I really liked and I keep using. Um, and uh, what was it? The one that was a plane thing where you fly a plane. It looks really cool. I mean, I'm actually, you know, because I'm sitting in a swivel chair and um, in the in the simulation thing I'm sitting so it made sense there and something about it made me feel really really immersed in the uh, scene and then I decided it was necessary every single time I launched the the app is uh, it's necessary to crash in the plane <laughs> um, but it's really cool you can turn around look at the back seat uh, you look out the windows you check the plane uh, wings you can look out the at the wings I, mean, fly, I like to fly above the ocean or whatever, the, the water, and friggin' look out the back window and <laughs> all that stuff and, you know, whatever. Then there's like a high-quality one where there's all these, these neon kind of buildings and stuff, and that was cool. Then there's that dive house thing, and that's cool too. Um, however, yeah, I, th I think the effect does kind of wear off a bit later on. Uh, and there are also a lot of apps that aren't really wonderful. There are some apps that are like, yeah, this. but one thing while having this, I found out that you could do with it is kind of make it like a Oculus Rift where you can actually stream, uh, how you do it, you stream PC games and you can play them in 3D and then use, uh, an app called Trinus Gyre which honestly I hated up until like a few seconds ago because I didn't realize it supports Limelight game stream and uh, I was having problems with the built-in streaming thing and this is the app you do this and on the there's a server on your PC that you download and you launch it and then you set it up on on the on the PC side and I could set it up so that it actually will launch everything through Limelight on my phone and launch, it launches Limelight and launches the game in 3D. It's side-by-side -side, 3D. You pop the the phone in here. Trinus Gyre will actually uh, use, like, uh, head tracking. It does, like, head tracking with a mouse. It, does, it has other versions of head tracking, but I use the mouse. Uh, so this way, when you pop your game in, play it on your uh, play through here, you grab a controller and you can look around and all the games and stuff, you can check out things like, you know, do uh, do everything that's going to distract you from playing the actual game. Sit there and look at a rock, and walk over something. And then, yeah, you know, I was playing um, what was it, Alien vs Predator, owned by Sega, the uh, more recent one, not the most recent uh, game, but the other one, uh, Alien vs Predator, and that was really cool, especially if you like that game. I actually like that game. So a lot of people don't seem to like it. I loved it, but. Um, I was playing that in virtual reality and like looking around and stuff. You have all the fucking aliens coming at you and stuff. So that was really awesome. And uh, yeah, you could, it's a little blurry. There's a little bit of a 
it's not really made for virtual reality or anything. So it's yeah, and you're streaming it, so you get a little bit of uh, kind of artifact even type shit on there that kind of throws it off a little bit. But it's fun to play still. Um, so you can do stuff like that. You can do Titanfall. Um, there's an app, uh, a PC application called Tridef, which will kind of force games to play in 3D. Uh, it doesn't work with OpenGL games, but it works with some games. I have had some issues with a lot of games that they don't work, even though they say they're officially supported. But then there are some games <laughs> that work fine. There are a good amount of games that work fine. And then there are some games that aren't even listed that I tried and that worked, or at least one right now. There's a game called Nailed, kind of like uh, Motor Storm. Um, and it works in 3D. That's on PC, of course. The, all these games are on PC. So, yeah, so Nailed works. Nailed is on other platforms as well. So it's on Xbox 360 and I believe PS3. But uh, I have it on PC, and that's the one you can get it in 3D and stuff. So work with that. And then they're also officially... Um, Games that officially support 3D. It has to be side by side, but you can get that working. So you get side by side 3D, and then you look through this, and you pop it in, and it supports the 3D. I'm going to show you some stuff. You can also use this to watch 3D. Um, so now we're correct connected here. You can also use this to, to watch 3D movies and stuff if you wanted to like you would on a 3D television, except for cheaper. Okay, so now I'm going to go through here, just scroll all the way down, and look at my PC and make sure I haven't already launched this. We're going to launch the TriDef media player. And then and she, she shows like all the, all the 3D content that you can get side by side. You can also do... Um, you can use Anaglyph, which is the red and blue, or the, uh, what is it, uh, there's different, all the different colors, but let me try to, oh, mirror, ugh, by the way, Mirror's Edge is actually really cool in 3D. I can't really show you, well, I can show you in 3D, I just can't show you how it looks in the headset with all the head tracking and everything. But I can show you how, how the head tracking is. Uh, I may have to adjust the uh, the sensitivity of the mouse a bit more. I still have to tweak some of the settings, but uh, yeah, I don't even know if I selected that. It can be a little rough trying to select things. And there you see, when I move this, the mouse moves. You have to move it like to a flat position or something. Let me just try that again. Okay, should launch now. And of course, the usual. Okay, so sometimes for some reason certain games won't launch. And you have to kind of fiddle with different settings and things to get the games to launch. So that's apparently one of those games. Um, I'm going to find a game that actually supports head tracking networks. Unfortunately, Skyrim um, if you have a controller plugged in, the head tracking won't work because the mouse gets disabled. So I'm trying to find something I know works and has head tracking. Hmm. I'll just do the Alien vs. Predator thing if I can get it to stop moving around. <coughs> okay. Yeah, sometimes there's a fight with this application that you have, that there has to be for some reason. So here we are. We launched our game in 3D. Let me try to uh, reduce the light. There we go. And then we have Alien vs. Predator. I forgot to actually connect the controller. I got a MOGA right here. At this. Um, 
so I can try playing. Hmm. <coughs> oh, I have to hit continue. Okay, so now we're continuing. And I'm going to want to show you how the head tracking is. I don't know that it's going to show up properly just because of where I am located or whatever, but um, we'll see. I hope it would. So here, I wish I could actually show you better because it's a very dark scene, but you see him moving around. Maybe I can... I think the sensitivity needs to be raised, but now I'm looking at the floor. Let me just try to get to a lighter place without get, hopefully getting killed or whatever. Hopefully without getting killed, I mean. As you see, moving around with the head tracking. Up, down, let me try to up, down. Left, right. And like I said, I have to adjust the head tracking or whatever, but it works. Um, so that's cool. So lens correction doesn't work with this. They have a lens correction feature that doesn't work. Um, however, I found that the lens correction made everything look like a CRT television. This is the S4, and I don't think it's big enough for this, so you'd probably need a, a bigger phone, but this does the trick, and yeah, that'll work. Um, <laughs> because of the tracking here, I'm trying to exit out of the, the application, but the, the mouse, the head tracking is fighting with me a bit. Uh, let's see, can we, uh, okay, got it, all right, so, that's, that's that, so you can use this kind of like a, uh, like a, uh, what's the face, Oculus Rift, in that sense, I'm sure the Oculus does better tracking and stuff like that, but, yeah, just if you don't want to spend all that money on something you probably won't use much. To me, that's something I really won't use all that much. Uh, so there you go. That's that. Thank you for watching.